Hey guys, uh, this weekend on this soon house, I'm uh, going to be working on some car maintenance things, um, overdue. Um, if you own a Crown Victoria, Grand Marquis, Marauder, or Town Car, or really any, any Ford vehicle, I mean, shoot, including Expeditions, Excursions, any old Ford with the EATC, the automatic electric uh, temperature control. EA electrically electric automatic temperature control. Whatever. EATC. It's the thing that looks like this. If you got one of these, then you've probably had the problem of either the blend door actuator failing, which um, when the blend door fails, you cannot control the temperature of the air that comes out. Um, you just get hot air. And that can only be repaired by pulling the entire dash and then getting behind it and replacing that, that um, unit. Or you run into a problem that no matter what mode this is set on, um, it only blows out of the vents. Um, it's cool and hot, like the temperature is right, but it only blows out of the vents. And that is probably the result of failed O-rings inside this unit that control where the air is directed. So, that's what we're going to be tackling today. Um, I'm using uh, a lot of really good how-to articles uh, from crownvic.net. So... Um, I mean, all this, there's great step-by-step -step instruction there, and that's where I'm getting all my information from. But um, I'm going to actually walk through the process. So um, <clears throat> this dash piece is already removed. That is just snapped in. There are no fasteners that hold this trim piece in. Easiest thing to do is get behind it on this side, pop it out, and you work your way down. Um, right here, you'll know that's your rear defrost switch. So you'll just have this one connector to undo. Um, four seven millimeter screws hold this in. Um, and that's where I'm at now. And so I'm ready to pull this thing the rest of the way out. All right, real quick. Holding the vacuum manifold onto the back of this are these little plastic nuts. You'll need a 10 millimeter to pull these off. So here is the EATC head unit out of the car, sitting on the bench, ready to be taken apart. And these are the O-rings that should be just the ticket to fix the air direction problem. Uh, we'll start by removing these Torx screws back here, and then the two halves of this head unit will separate and we'll be able to get a little bit closer to the vacuum operated valves in there. All right, the Torx screws are out. That was a T20, by the way. Um, there's one little red connector in here we need to unplug to separate the two, two halves, so we'll do that right now. All right, so this is separated, and now we are ready to get into these vacuum operated solenoids. And here it is at crownvic.net simply says remove all the screws so we'll do that to get us into the solenoids and here it is the solenoid assembly removed from the tray and then these guys right here are the solenoids we will need to pry these tabs back right there the two little metal tabs we'll have to pry those back so the solenoids will slide out of their home then we can dig deeper. So here are two of the four solenoids removed. Um, again, you pry, you pry these tabs up, and then you also kind of got to gently pry these ears up so that they'll slide out. And they will just slide out. I mean, with a little bit of coaxing, but just a little bit. Don't force any of this stuff. So these are... The O-rings that I suspect are bad. And then we've got these other ones from McMaster. Check it out. These are Parker. 
Uh, part number. Yeah. S1138. AS568007. O-rings. Um, again, the, there's a ton of information. Crownvic.net. Again, go there if you're not sure because there's other places you can buy these from too. But let's uh, get these switched over to here. All right, and here's the solenoids with the new O-rings on. You can see the old O-rings sitting right here beside it. So we'll pop these back in, and then we'll do the other two. And as they say, installation is the reverse of removal, and we'll see where we end up. All right, Our all four solenoids have been pulled. O-rings replaced. You can see I got a couple cracked ones there, so that's no good. Um, Quick note, there are springs down in the bases of these solenoids. So if you pull one of those um, valve bodies out and tip this over, you'll see a, you might see a little spring come out. Um, that just needs to go back into the hole and seated down in the bottom of the housing. And then you put your valve body back in there. So yeah, let's get all this put back on the base and get all that put back in the head unit and put it back in the car and see what we get. Ta-da! There it is. I'll put back together. All said, that probably only took me about half an hour to get this thing all tore apart, and that's including starting and stopping to take videos and explain what I'm doing. So let's get this back in the car, see what happens. And there it is. I'll put back together. The trim piece is back in. Again, that could not snap in any easier. So, let's see if we can get, get some positive action out of this thing here. Turn this to vent. <laughs> And I got air coming out of my vents. How about that? Oh yeah. Vent air. Fantastic. Let's go floor. It moved. Put my hand down here. Definitely got air at the floor. Let's go defrost. Oh yeah, lots of air out here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Floor defrost. Vent. Let's go back to vent. Feel air coming out of the dash vents. I have not had air coming out of these dash vents in so long. I'm excited about that. All right, that was it. Just those four little O-rings, about, uh, I don't know, half an hour worth of work. Done. Nice.